Yes, we are on the subject of color conditioning positively with our doodle. Part two, showing you two sessions, two consecutive sessions <coughs> where we uh, definitely can show a little progression. You just have to wait for the big part three where things are actually finalizing very nicely. But I'd like to show you the process in order to just slow you down and have your expectations regulated, not going overboard with the action required from a dog. Here you see him being all goofy and clowny, looking at the collar, doesn't really want to interact with that, but he has learned by now that sticking his collar, his head through the collar is the only way to get the food. Here he put his head twice next to the collar and the food was withdrawn. So it sends a clear message to him that the only way to get the food is to stick my head into the collar and obviously food drive is higher than before. You can tell because he's willing to put his head in there not yet totally convincing and, and self-confident but we will see that step by step, session by session, um, the capability grows. Here now the second session of part three of training the same behavior. We see that he is much more ready to get up and move forward and stick his head into the collar or at least start the behavior of sticking his head in there. I make sure that, or I'm trying to make sure that we progress and have his head further and further into the collar, which needs to happen in small increments. But you see that if I'm waiting for too long to give him the food, he's gonna withdraw his head. But it's, it's clearly visible that he's making headways putting his head into the collar, f collar further and further and further until you'll see we'll get it all the way in there. Important is that we feed, 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 feed and don't be stingy and not putting a gap between two treats so he can change his mind and decide the behavior is not worthwhile doing. So here for the first time he's got the collar on and I make sure that he feels comfortable with me touching his neck, touching the collar and taking the collar off as well as he needs to be comfortable putting the collar on. So progression, progression nicely and you see in the part three video that all my patience and time has paid off and we are ready to use the collar actually very very soon.